Hey friends, it is good to see you today. Thanks for, for tuning in and, and watching today's vlog plus. I uh, hope you had a great weekend as we come back and get a, another week started. I uh, trust that you uh, enjoyed some good time with the family, maybe got some weekend chores done. And uh, I really hope you were able to spend time uh, worshiping God this uh, past weekend uh, at your church or um, and with your family. Uh, this past weekend at Harvest, I, I gave you the sneak peek uh, at the end of last week uh, about talking about spiritual disciplines. And um, God is just awesome. I mean, gave us a great time of worship um, and uh, a really great uh, opportunity to hear from His Word. Uh, a little long, but, you know, we had to cover a lot of material, and uh, some of the feedback I got immediately from the service was, was really positive, and so uh, I know God's doing some exciting things at Harvest, and, and uh, that's a, a huge encouragement for me and for us as a church. Hey, here's a thing I want to talk about um, today. Uh, really, we're going to talk about it all week. Uh, since we did just um, discuss these spiritual disciplines... Uh, one of the things that um, I said in worship on Sunday was that uh, what we didn't have time to do was to actually go into depth of all of the uh, spiritual disciplines and that this week we would be uh, you know, discussing them a little further in depth uh, on the church site and in the blog and, uh, and I'm going to do it here on the videos as well so that you can kind of just be thinking all week long about these spiritual disciplines. So what I kind of want to do this week is uh, just each day take one of the six that we discussed and go a little deeper with it. Talk specifically about each one. Um, and I want to try to keep the videos to five minutes so it won't be uh, extensively deep. But uh, that's where I'll turn you to the blog and encourage you to, to go and to read that and to consider some of the resources that we provide. One of the, the goals I want to do here is through the spiritual disciplines is really encourage um, those of Harvest Church and, and really anyone uh, who watches these videos um, to really be developing a practice in their lives uh, for spiritual disciplines. Uh, the way that we're going to do it at Harvest Church is we've adopted the, um, the, the kind of the method, the framework uh, using the word habits. Um, that's kind of one of those things that's been out there for a while. I certainly didn't dream it up. Um, got it from a, a youth pastor who I have um, learned a great deal from uh, through his books and through hearing him speak. And um, I'm pretty sure he got it from somebody else who he learned from. So uh, I can't trace back exactly who who created the habits uh, program, but uh, we're using it because I've always used it with students. And it's just a simple, practical way of developing spiritual disciplines in your life. So, so habits is a real easy way to remember uh, six things that we should be doing in a regular, uh, on a regular basis uh, in developing our relationship with God. Uh, and each letter stands for one of those six things. So H is having time with God. Or we just simply said, have your God time. Uh, A is accountable relationships. B is uh, biblical memorization. Uh, I is involvement in the life of the church or in the life of the body. Uh, T is tithing and giving. Uh, then S is uh, studying God's word. Um, so here, all I want to do today is just kind of uh, say a few things about them as a whole. And then um, tomorrow, uh, in tomorrow's blog, uh, and in tomorrow's video, we will have the uh, the first uh, letter of habits. We will discuss H. So let me just say a few things uh, about um, the habits process here. Our goal is for you to to develop um, regular uh, tools or, or things in your life, habits um, that help you deepen your relationship with God. Uh, grow you to be uh, mature spiritually, biblically, uh, in your knowledge and understanding of your faith in God, and some of the things that really come along with that, that, you know, maybe we don't always put a lot of discussion into when we're at church. Um, but here's the thing, I went through the six things yesterday and gave kind of a summary and, and, and read some scripture of where we see the importance of these things laid out. Um, 
But what I didn't get a chance to do is to, to help give you a way of making these things actual habits. And I love that they're called habits because really we want them to become a, a habit in your life. We want them to become something that's a part of your life. But here's the thing. Um, I think some of us sometimes can hear all of those uh, those disciplines, all six of them, and think, oh man, I've got to make all six of these part of my life, and uh, i got a week to do it, and man, I, it's just going to be hard to get all these things done, and, and I don't want that to be the case. How, what I want to encourage you and us to do is, is to take each one, one at a time, and if it takes you a couple weeks to, to conquer H and, and make having your time with God every day something that's, that's a part of your life, then take the time to do that. You don't have to do all of them at once. So, um, you know, we're taking each one one day at a time, but really I, I want to encourage you to, to progress through them um, in a way that works for you. But don't give up on doing them. Don't get through H and A and be like, okay, that's it. I've got my spiritual disciplines. You got to finish them all out. So uh, as you think about them this week, as you look at them, as you read about them, as you consider making them, you know, the, the your, part of your routines of life, um, know that it's not something you have to nail down all this week. So take your time with them, process with them, uh, deal with them with God, and, and allow them to become part of who you are in, in a natural way. So I, I really want to make sure that you understand that, and I want to stress that this morning uh, as we begin this, because I, I don't want you feeling like you're overwhelmed uh, by having to do all these things, okay? So all week long, be ready for the habits to come at you. Uh, it starts tomorrow with the first one. We'll be discussing uh, having God time and uh, just what that looks like, all right? Have a great day, and uh, be sure to check in tomorrow. Uh, as always, I'd love for you to um, thumbs up this video if it was helpful, if it was encouraging. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, and be sure to uh, visit my blog at jhyam.com and uh, continue to connect and engage with us both on Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you tomorrow.